take what resonates, leave what doesn't. What we gotta say in this moment? Selfishness. Somebody, father, sword, someone who could be standing up for themselves. To take what resonates. Somebody could have been very selfish in the past. But the tower comes sweeping in. To bring some type of epiphany. Some type of aha moment. Some type of realization. Suddenly this happens to this person. Okay? Things can be very confusing at this time. Okay? It could feel overwhelming. Over emotional. I feel like your person is finally feeling their emotions, okay? Your person ready to chase you, okay? My cats chasing each other. The boy chasing the girl. You know what I'm saying? Take what resonates. The feminine and the masculine, okay? Somebody's needing to take time to themselves and focus on themselves. We can do, be dealing with Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? This person right now, at this time, is feeling stuck in in their own head, in their own way. This is self-sabotage energy. But this could be because of their selfishness in the past. They don't even know what to do. They don't know how to move. They don't know what to do. They can't make a move. They're feeling stuck, okay? They're needing to take some time to themselves so they can realize what their emotions mean. Because there is some type of sudden emotion, sudden epiphany that, that is bringing them to this position that got them feeling stuck or whatever. But they ain't going to be stuck for long, King of Wands. This is daddy. This is big, big energy. You know what I'm saying? They're going to resonate. You know what I'm saying? Leave a dozen or whatever, or whatever. You can be dealing with a, a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you hear the noise in the background, it's just my cats. They feeling very playful, but they also very serious with each other, okay? They letting each other know right now what it is, what it's going to be, and what it ain't going to be. Okay, you're trusting your intuition at this time. Okay, you've been being guided to maybe let go of selfishness, get out of your head, stop trying to be in control of things, stop trying to control this journey because this journey is not just yours. Okay, you are just a part of it. But let me just also let you know you are everything in it at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So you got to let go whether it's out of your control, but you also make sure you trust your intuition at this time. Somebody could be feeling very heartbroken or lost or stuck, you know, feeling overwhelmed in the heart chakra, okay? And that it could be what's changing. Whatever this sudden realization was created this heartbreak or heart chakra activation, okay, that's getting them to want to come towards who? The Queen of Wands. So we got the King and the Queen of Wands out here. They're trying to come towards you very quickly, okay? They're reacting on their emotions at this time. I feel like this person is feeling very confident to come towards you. But I also feel like they're feeling very scared at this moment because this is the lamas right now. It's 1226, okay, a.m., all right, Eastern time. So this person is feeling very very attracted to your beauty, very attracted to your confidence, okay? They're up in their head, they can't sleep, they up late at night just like you or feeling stuck in their head at this moment, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress because they're knowing they need to handle things, they know they need to take action towards things, but it could be another option that's there and that's why it's so much difficulty, so much anxiety, they're confused about which way they should go or maybe not being confused just that was what was, was in the past that's what is causing the anxiety whoever this other option is it's causing some anxiety and some stress and making them feel trapped so they know what they need to do walk away from people places and things from a partner that is no longer serving their highest good okay the hair farm their highest good is out here. Their higher self, okay? That's what's going to make this what? Will spin in their favor, okay? Them walking away from a toxic situation, people, places, and things. It's not just one person. It's multiple things that they invested a lot of love, energy into, okay? And they need to walk away. So what? They can come back to you, return to their love, return to themselves, 
return to their higher self, okay? So that they can marry you, so that they can be whole and complete within themselves. But they want to return to you because they feel like you are the answer to their to all of their problems. You are a problem solver. You are the solution, okay? You are the empress. You manifest things left and right. You manifest whatever you want. Whatever you want, you get. Because you what? You knew how to keep a cool head. You calm down your mind. You breathe. When things ain't going your way, you let go and allow things to work out. You continue to work on your manifestations and something that you want is about to manifest right now as we speak, okay? There's an ending to some toxic things. There's some type of transition here that's coming up, okay? So that you can, this person can give to the person that they're supposed to and not keep trying to breadcrumb the person that they're supposed to, okay? They're having a sudden realization, all right? They're afraid that you're going to reject them because they realize that they rejected you, but they want to come towards you. they heavily emotional, when it comes to you, that's why they're trying to take some time to themselves, okay? They're trying to build their confidence, okay? Because they do love you. This is not just love. This is in love, okay? They regret how they mistreated you. Five of Cups. They know they need to end this toxic cycle that has been going on. The possessiveness, the trying to control things, the trying to manipulate things to go in their favor in a dark way. Instead of just letting go and allow the universe to help them bring this into fruition. But they're very passionate, possessive of you, okay? <laughs> they want this union. They want this happily ever after. They see themselves in this family. They daydream about it. They think about it. This is wishes fulfilled, okay? They're going to come in with clear communication, all right? They're hoping that you don't cut their head off. Queen of Swords, okay, because they want to invest in you. Seven of Pentacles, they put a lot of thought into this, a lot of energy into this, and they're not willing to give this up. Nine of Wands, okay? They're not willing to give this up. The Strength card, Leo Energy. They're trying to tap into that inner courage, that inner lion, okay? <laughs> that is going to bring this into fruition for them, all right? But it definitely has lots of regrets. They want to come bring you or offer you something solid. This is face-to-face -face energy, Knight of Pentacles. They want a long-term commitment, but they had someone else, so they had to do a lot of healing within themselves before they even can communicate with this. They don't know what you will say or how you re will respond to them wanting a partnership or moving in with you or you moving in with them or y'all moving and getting a crib together. This is what's happening right now. They may not know what you're going to say to this, but this is what's happening. They've been doing a lot of healing. They went through some betrayal, okay? They could have lost finances due to the choices that they made, but they also miss you. You miss them too, okay? Y'all both holding on to each other, okay? Y'all both want this to make move forward in a positive, balanced direction. Y'all both love each other. This is your emperor speaking, okay? Coming in towards you, seeing things from a higher perspective, finally wanting things to turn in their favor. They had to heal themselves first so that they can realize where they need to be. And so it is, okay? They've been doing a lot of work on themselves. They've been spending a lot of time at actual work. You know what I mean? They're willing to work on this connection, okay, and move things forward. And it start with communication, all right? And this is truthful communication. This is your justice. This is what you've been waiting for, this leap of faith to happen for both of y'all to take each other in your arms and start this new passionate, loving, beginning, ace of wands. Say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.